Hi guys, welcome to this video. We have seen our share of grub issues now on Arch Linux. Let's also be honest, as the first time in five years. So at this point in time, look at the date, all is well with grub. The packages that they've made, they've released, Arch Linux released R322-4, and that's the one you'll be getting in if you update your systems today, and it will be all fine. In any case, on Archilex. To prove you that, the easiest way is to get something old. 2022-0607, meaning it's the end of May, we've built the ISOs, and that's what's in here. If I boot this up, and I go tell the system to actually boot from the ISO, like this, we're going to reinstall something old, and as usual, uh, update the system. And it's a good thing to repeat again, certainly for the new guys, how to maintain Arch Linux, right? Because Arch Linux is based on Arch Linux. Only 4% is different. And that's because of the packages of ourselves and 4% from the AOR. And that's it. And all the rest, 90% or so, is pure Arch. What do we do? We boot up with a system that was old, right? From end of June, end of May, May better, and, and beginning of June. So don't. once it's set up, you can just leave it. This is just one of the 28 desktops, and doesn't really matter which desktop I prove it on. All is well if you install with an old system, and you update, you'll see that everything works fine with Grub, but of course, knowledge has to be shared, knowledge has to be uh, in your mind, right? In your brain. And that's it. The only thing you keep in mind is one package. Arch Linux keyring. The system works with signing packages and the keyrings change over time. The one that's in here is the one from April probably. So if you wanna know, you do something like this, all right? And if you want to see QI Arch Linux Keyring, we have the one of 2022-04-24, so April 24. We're not April 24, so many months have passed, meaning the keys have changed probably. And that's something you have to kind of, kind of belly feeling it has been a while since I booted up Arch Linux. Ah, first install the Arch Linux keyring, see that there in, is indeed a new package in, because some of the developers are thrown out, some of the developers get new keys, new developers come in with their keys, Alpha ah, changes, right? So you need to have to get to, to get the very, very last Arch Linux keyring. And then Pacman, Pacman, package manager, that's the word, Pacman, is going to check if all the packages are correct and everything is okay, signed and all that. And then, only then, he will install. Let's wait for this installation and we'll show you that Grub is now okay, starting with an ISO at the end of May. And there we go, it's finished. I'm gonna close this with a super Q. He wants me to close it. Well, no. So let's do just done then. <laughs> Strange. Alpha. As you see, we can boot. Can we really boot? Yes. Why? Control T. The ISO. Oh, smaller letters. The ISO is the one of June. Fine. The grub version. is where is he there he is is 06 dash 5 so a very old one so we're back in time basically this is uh back to the past right we have a system that's from end of may something like that and then we just update our system this is what you should know how to maintain your system that's an update and sometimes they ask to change the name and the capital y says basically just to an enter so yes yes and all these packages since then 
have been updated new kernel for one gcc is there the compiler and lots of updates coming in the biggest ones uh, you see it goes from very large to smaller to the very smallest kilobytes everything gets an update but in the meantime in august Arch Linux guys made a new Arch Linux keyring. So that's the only thing you have to remember. Just type update, and if you get issues with keyrings, then you can type the keyring. So this thing is not going to work. So sudo pacman minus s Arch Linux keyring. Find it any way you like. I mean, there was, there's a website where you can download the package and install it, sudo pacman minus u. So let's just type it, sudo pacman minus u, that one, and then the package name. And you can install packages like that as well. But normally, right, everything is connected. You've got internet, you can get to the Arch Linux keyring. And then you update again. And these are the very critical lines, right? Three, four lines that are critical. Checking keys in keyring, integrity, loading the packages files, and then the file conflicts, enough space. Yes, you've got enough space and off it goes. And then it's basically, you're in the clear. When this happens, you just follow along and see and read, and maybe you find some information from developers telling you what to do, but basically, it's just updating now. We've passed the four hurdles there. Well, what's why we're we making this video is the grub thing, right? Is the grub thing now fixed today? Can I install any of the ISOs on Arclix, on Belnet, SourceForge, uh, Torrents? Well, can we? Can we? Yes, you can. And I've gone far enough, not the one of July, Jana one of June, just to show you. And this is the extra line we've put in. So in our packages, we have a hook, a Pacman hook, that is going to execute the grub install. And then it provides you the line, not much really, installation finished, no error reported, installing four, done. Second hook is this guy, executing grub make configuration. And it, because of these two guys, which was, finally documented by the Arch Linux guys, I think in version three already, but now we're at version four of three uh, of R 322. People try to communicate with us through all these texts. And I'm looking for the lines of the Arch Linux guys telling us you should run this and this and that upgrading grub to use the new features provided in this grub update and that was the issue it is recommended to install it to mbr ufi mbr was never an issue only ufi got a firmware reboot so you you couldn't we were not able to boot into the system again due to potential configuration compatibilities it's advised to run both and that's what we've done to both execute things that i just shown you that's what we do, all right? Automatically, via AUK. And then the problems are actually non-existent, right? You, sh you, you, sh you don't know, you just update and the Pac-Man, the, the Arch Linux gearing thing, and that's it. Now there's more to tell, like scale and all that. So if you wanna really have an up-to-date system, then you type scale. It's the old scale I see. Today we have a new scale, which provides an a script rather than an alias but that's all okay thing why we're here is can we update and have a grub that works right this is what we're testing grub is there grub boots control r i'm resetting it going to the second line first this i can do of course in a test machine control r virtualbox is resetting 
Now I've tested everything in Grub, three lines, and of course I say orphan because I just stop the system. This is not sound, this is not okay, right? But just a quick test, everything works, right? Grub is there, let's end to see what version we actually have. And again, the desktop doesn't matter, 28 desktops, I could have picked any of them. So we're now on Herbst Luft WM and um, the version sudo pacman minus s give me information or q i and then grub and you'll see that we're on r 322 what's important is number four the very last grub version all right so we're hopefully in the clear and and let's just end by saying that this is the first time this ever happened on Arch in five years. So I hope we are in the clear for the next five years. <laughs> All right. Anyway, watch the videos because Arch root is a very interesting command. Arch root. It, you can always fix your computer with it, even if Grub is failing for some reason. All right. Cheers.